This is uh, Dave West shop here in Hayesville. I'm glad I called him. He's always got some cool stuff back here. Let's see what he's got. This is the one you've had sitting over yeah. in the other side for a while, right? Yeah. yeah. That's gorgeous, man. Mm -hmm. It's got, we got all the sheet metal for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you still hunting cars? Or are you just kind of picking up what falls in your lap? Man, that's beautiful. Golly. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Sorry, I should have asked. You mind if I make a little video as we're walking oh, no, through here? No cool. Problem. Man. You seen the one Mike's working on down in Atlanta? Uh -oh. He's got a green one. I forget yeah. what year, yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's he's gonna do a nice job on that. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's that's awfully nice. What year is this one? Sixty two at the Jensen car. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, sixty two Jensen. Man. Uh fifty seven duet. Cool. Yeah. We're gonna put a I think we're putting a, overdrive and all in that one. Yeah. That's gonna be the one in the you're keeping a B16 or putting something else in? I'm going to put a, put a 20. Yeah. Is a 20? I've never driven a B20. Is it worth the effort to swap from a 18? It helps it. Yeah. It helps it. Okay. Now, see that one out there, that uh, that 122 wagon, 20 with an open. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. I wasn't sure. It makes it. And then, then of course, in the, in the paint booth, another one. Oh, yeah. There's a Jensen in here. Yeah, that's a bad habit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you get to the point you're at where stuff just kind of falls in your lap, yeah, I'm sure yeah. it's hard to say no. Golly. Dude, this part is painted. Wow. It's, it's, it's a solid part. Man. Yeah. That's killer. Yeah. yeah, really, I don't know what I'm going to do with mine. I just kind of, I've always sort of wanted one. Yeah, like I, I don't really want to restore it. I, I like I'm gonna leave the patina. I'm gonna make it solid, make it safe. Yeah. Yeah. I like to have something cool. Oh, with an old school like '90s Alpine in there too. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. So it was like that when you got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are those the Penta cards? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't. I thought they were just they're, downdraft they're, something or others. I didn't Solexes recognize them. What they ran on the oh, boat. Oh, okay. What they ran on the boat. Okay. He put, uh, the, he put him. He was a big uh, boat guy. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. What's done to this? Anything? Cam or nothing? Just just a driver. It's got a, it's got a cam in it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean the thing, it runs great. Yeah. It, it runs. Got the overdrive. Yeah. You know the whole thing in it. But yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I'll drive it a lot. Cause I mean, it just, uh, yeah. I like to, I like the overdrive in it. Yeah. The only thing I really want to do to it is put air in it. Right. I had, uh, I'd always kind of wanted an Amazon and I went out to the Davis uh, VCOA yeah. show about a year and a half ago. Yeah. And I called a buddy up while I was there or before I went. Uh, who lives in Davis and asked him if he had some like a bar and he goes, yeah, I got this whole, oh, there was a 66 Amazon. Yeah. Just uh, let me know when you fly in and grab it. And I drove that thing all over creation, man. I drove it from oh, Davis to San Francisco, down the yeah, coast yeah, some, like, back no, up, yeah, up in the woods. Yeah. And I just kind of like, after that, I was like, yeah, I, I got to have me one of these things. You know they, so, just, they, they feel good. Yeah. You can drive. Yeah, they're cool cars. All right, so that was Dave's shop. Um, I met him, I think in the previous video, I said seven or eight years ago. It's been longer than that, because I was still in school at Western. Um, we were just out driving one day on a weekend and uh, rode by this place in Hazel and saw a bunch of cool old Volvos out front. Um, stopped in and talked to him. So I've probably known him, I guess about 10 years or so. Um, done a little bit of parts trading with him, but he's, Dave, Dave is on a different level for, uh, for Volvo enthusiast stuff, man. He does some really beautiful work, like you saw. Um, and what what you what you saw there is just a fraction of what he has. I'll I'll put up some pictures of like past visits to his shop. Um, he's had you know like a 142 race car with a, a B20 in it that made like over 200 horsepower. He had a P1900 in there one time, which I think there were only ever 67 of those cars built, and he had one. Um, 
he had a 960 limo for a while. Uh, it's had all, all kinds of just very, very interesting stuff. Uh, but yeah, so he hooked me up with an M40, and he's like, hey, if this thing doesn't work, just let me know. And he said, uh, he's got 10 or 12 stacked up behind the shop. He said, just come swap it out with one that will. So uh, yeah, hopefully it's a good one, but uh, we'll get the house and uh, slam it in tonight and see how it goes. But uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.